If you wanna grow your online coaching business, but you don't have money to invest into paid ads, this video is for you. I'm gonna share with you the five strategies that I use when starting my coaching business to make my first six figures so I could invest into ads to grow even faster. You see, the biggest problem coaches experience when trying to grow their business is they don't have a way to get new eyeballs on their brand and on their content every single day. And without new eyeballs, it makes it really hard to generate leads and book sales calls for your coaching program. So here are five strategies you can use to get in front of new people so you can sign three to five clients a month for your online coaching business. All right, so the first strategy that's gonna help you sign more clients without ads is going to be by hosting masterclasses or webinars once a month. Now, typically it's good to do these and have them on a 10 day promotion cycle. So um, I'm actually hosting a masterclass next week, next Tuesday, so a week from today. And I started marketing this um, about two or three days ago. So it gives me about 10 days in total of promoting the masterclass before I have it. Now, the key to making the masterclass or webinar a success is to have the topic be around the transformation you actually help people with. So for instance, my webinar that I'm hosting this next coming week is how to get five to 10 clients a month using Instagram ads. Well, guess what? My offer helps people get clients with Instagram ads. So in the masterclass and presentation, I'm gonna provide value and show proof that the solution works and helps people have a transformation they wanna achieve, okay? So if you're doing fitness coaching, it would be the same thing. How to lose your first 20 pounds with insert mechanism you're using, or you can use um, the, the without condition. So how to lose your first 20 pounds without fasting or giving up your favorite foods, right? That's all you really need for a masterclass or a webinar to be successful is a headline. And then you wanna just invite as many people as humanly possible to that masterclass. When I host masterclasses, I need at least 100 people to have about 20 people to show up. If I want 40 to 50 people to show up, I need about 200 registrations to have that show up rate. Okay, so show up rates right now are probably 25 to 30% of the people who say they're going to go are actually gonna go. So if you don't have a big following, if you don't have an email list, you're gonna sit on your phone, I'm gonna highly encourage this, and just go through your contacts and invite people that you think would be good fits, okay? You're providing value in this masterclass. Okay, you're, you're not, yeah, of course, there's gonna be a pitch and sale at the end, but guess what? The whole purpose of this is to nurture the people that are already in your ecosystem, the people who are already watching your Instagram content. So this is an opportunity to ascend them and, and nurture them faster. So once a month, host a masterclass and have it be on the main mechanism that which you help your clients with, okay? So that's the first strategy, hosting a masterclass once a month. The second strategy that works really well to get more eyeballs on your account is called the shout out for shout out strategy. Now, to do this, you wanna find other business owners or uh, influencers or people in your space that work with your ideal clients. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to that person or shoot them a message on the DMs and say, hey, I see that we both work with insert demographic. Um, I'm out of curiosity, you know, would you be open to doing a shout out for shout out? And Typically, you wanna do this with people you already have a relationship with. Like, I probably would never cold message somebody that. Uh, I would more than likely build a relationship with them, uh, have like a coffee connection, you know, a Zoom call just to get to know them. If they're local to Austin, I'll probably, you know, grab coffee with them or do something with them first to form a relationship to make sure that it's a good fit. I don't ever want my first message to send out to somebody to be a cold pitch. But what we're doing here with a shout out for shout out method is, I wanna find somebody who's in a space that has a similar audience. And what I can do is one day on my stories or even in a post, I can say, man, I just read this awesome article or watched this awesome video from insert creator. And um, I think you guys should go follow him. He creates awesome content on how to do X, Y, and Z. Go follow X, Y, this person for more information on blank. So the shout out, the whole thing is designed to get more of your followers to follow somebody else. And then in turn, the next week or whenever you guys decide, he can do the same or she with their audience. So we're sharing audiences, right? Hey, I'll do one for you. You do one for me. 
If you guys have similar audiences, you should be able to pick up 20, 30 follows, uh, you know, at minimum. And all the people that follow you, you can then message and reach out to and, and connect with more, okay? Really easy and simple way to start getting new eyeballs on your account. And honestly, you could do multiple shout outs uh, a week or a month, right? But the key to making this work though, again, is making sure you have a good relationship with them and that the followers, um, like your following accounts or audiences are similar sizes. If someone has a million followers and you have a thousand, it's gonna be really hard to get them to want to shout you out unless you're gonna pay them money. And if you're open to paying them money, go for it. I've done plenty of paid shout outs on meme accounts and other bigger pages, and I'll pay a couple hundred bucks. And you know, if my coaching program is at least two to $5,000, man, I'll, I'll happily pay you know, a couple hundred dollars if I can get one client out of it and build my audience at the same time. Okay, so method number two is shout out for shout out. Method number three is using your existing clients and creating a referral program. Now, my favorite referral program is to give somebody a month free of coaching in exchange for one client. So if they have like their mom or their sister or a friend and they refer them to me and that person signs up, I really like giving that person who, who referred them to me a, a month essentially free of coaching. The simplest way to do this is if you're using Stripe or PayPal or Wave, you can just go into the payment processor and just credit the amount of money that somebody would pay for a month of coaching. If they've already paid in full or their balance is covered, then you would just extend their end date one month. I came across this one because when I was in college, my CrossFit gym at the time, I did CrossFit, they did this and I loved it because I was a broke college kid, right? So I was like, man, how many of my friends can I get to come to this gym so I could get free memberships? And I had at least three or four friends who took me up on that. And that allowed me to not pay my gym membership for three to four months, right? And I love that. And it, it felt like a fun game for me. So um, yeah, I highly encourage you guys to have some sort of referral program and to let your members and your clients know about your referral program, okay? So for us, we actually have a pin post inside of our, our school group. It says, wanna earn $500? Refer a friend. And if they click that, it actually opens up a Google Doc. Now, in addition to doing, to letting them know and pinning it somewhere in your community, you can also do, whenever you're doing a promotion externally, right? So let's say you're doing a, I'm looking for five campaign, or you're, you're doing a, a discounted Black Friday deal or something like that. You can tell your members, hey, as a reminder, I'm doing this promotion. If you guys know anybody who would be a good fit, just send them my way. And if you do, I'll give you a $500 credit towards your next month of coaching or however much money your, your program is per month. All right, so that's number three. Number four is going to be doing a scholarship promotion. Now this works really well to start getting people who've kind of like been in the cobwebs or been kind of behind the scenes, but maybe they're watching your content, they're not engaging in it. And it's a way for people to start to raise their hand and say, ooh, I'm, I'm interested. And even though they may not sign up right then and there, there is a high likelihood they'll at least put their name in to apply to work with you so you can then nurture them over a long period of time. Now, here's how the scholarship program works. You're going to promote a scholarship and we're gonna promote this for about a week long. And over the week, you're gonna say, hey, I'm giving away one full ride to work with me. That means everything's gonna be covered. And I'm also gonna be giving away multiple or many partial scholarships to those who apply and qualify as well. So what you do here is everyone's gonna be excited about the opportunity to potentially win a full ride scholarship, but there's also the opportunity to win a partial scholarship. And you're gonna drive everybody there to a application. It's gonna ask, you know, what are your goals? What are your struggles? And then there's also you know, a typical application question stuff. And then inside the application, there's gonna be a checkbox that says, if you don't win the full scholarship, are you interested in a partial scholarship? And you want them to check yes, right? And if they check yes, those are gonna be people that you reach out to to give the partial scholarships to. And typically you can do this campaign and you can get 20 to 30 applications in, which could be like five to six X your normal applications on a normal week. And what you're gonna do there is you're then going to reach out, you're gonna pick one winner. And um, I prefer to actually give the winner like the full scholarship myself to somebody who is in need 
So like one of my questions in there too is, okay, why should I pick you over everyone else who applied? And if they give me a short answer, I'm not gonna pick them. But also if somebody gives me a really good answer and they can't financially work with me, I'm more likely to award that person the full ride and do partial scholarships to the other people who apply. That's just what I, I feel really good about, assuming that that person is, um, you know, they, yeah, they want it because they had a good answer and that's, that's where they're at. And then everyone else who put, I'm interested in the partial scholarships, I would then reach out to them and say, hey, uh, unfortunately you didn't win the full ride scholarship, but I do want to grant you a partial scholarship. And now what you want to do is you want to get that person onto a phone to walk through all of your offers that you've got. And uh, typically the scholarship, partial scollarship amount is about 20% off. Okay, so you get them onto the phone call, you do your normal sales process. You don't mention anything about price until the end like you normally do. We don't want to just be like, oh yeah, it's only this. And then they're like, eh. We want to put them through the normal sales process, get them onto a call, and then at the end, share your price and then share the discounted partial scholarship that they've been awarded, right? So that's typically the flow we want to do for the partial scholarships. All right, so the fifth strategy that you can utilize to help you get more clients, this one is my favorite one, but I left it for last because it's probably the least sexy, but the most powerful, okay? It's the least sexy because it does require a decent amount of work, but it also can really help you improve your messaging, create better content, and also get people in your network who already know, like, and trust you on the phones so you can talk to them about your offer, okay? This is through what we call market research. Market research is extremely, extremely powerful. In fact, all of our brand new clients who don't have any coaching clients, we have them do market research to start because it gives you so much valuable information. And what we're doing here is we wanna reach out to people who are in our contact list, who are our friends on Facebook, our followers on Instagram, and we just wanna reach out to them and let them know about what you're doing, right? So like if you're a new coach, hey, I'm putting together a new coaching program, or hey, I'm starting a new Instagram account, and in the process, I'm reaching out to a select few people. And I want to ask just a couple questions so that I can make better content that really helps people insert the goal that, that you help people with, right? And in this like ask or in this uh, presentation or conversation you're having with these people, we're trying to make it really mission driven, right? It's like, you know, I, I've really been wanting to help busy moms because I, I personally was this and it's my mission to do this. So for me to do that, I need to get clear on, you know, what are the problems people are experiencing so I can create really actionable tips and advice so that I can help people. So, you know, out of curiosity, would you be open for me to ask you just a couple questions, right? And we want them to be like, yeah, I would love to help you, right? Again, we're going through our contact list. This is gonna be people that we know and it's gonna really help us just like get on the phones and start talking to people, okay? On the market research call, we're not pitching none of that. What we're really trying to do is we're trying to discover, you know, what are the problems this person's experiencing? What uh, have they tried before? You know, what are their fears? What keeps them up at night? Now, we wanna to try to get really clear on their experience. This really will give you a lot of again, content information and ideas for how you position yourself in your marketing, okay? And then at the end of this call, you say, thank you so much for your time today. Like this really is gonna help me do uh, X, Y, Z. And there's kind of two re requests you can make at the end. Typically, I'll, I'll, kind of, I'll share them in the order at which I would do them. But once you have the market research call, yeah, you get clear on like what that person needs. You can say, hey, thank you so much for your time. Um, out of curiosity, like, do you want any help with this? Because everything you shared today is exactly what you know I do with my clients. So, um, you know, my intention today wasn't to have a sales call or, or a sales conversation, but, you know, if you are looking for help, I would love to set up another call where I can walk through, you know, my offer and what I'm doing in more detail. If you do that right, you will probably have about uh, our, our goal, our target for that is to have 50% of the people that help you with market research that will book sales calls with you, right? 50%. The other half might say, no, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm not really looking for support right now. And you're like, awesome. That's great. Thank you for your time right? But if they say yes, go schedule that call. If they say no, then you're like, okay, no, no problem. Now, um, my second qu question or ask would be, 
No problem. Do you, now, do you know anybody else who's also in the same space as you who I could also ask a couple questions for? Because again, this is really going to help me insert how it's going to help you, which will help your mission, aka the bigger population, right? So essentially we're saying, do you want help with this? They say yes or no. If they say no, do you know anybody else who I could also ask these questions to so I could do X, Y, and Z? If they say yes, awesome. Can you connect me via a group group text? All right. They say no. Okay, no problem. Thank you again so much for your time. Um, I'd love to give you a free resource or a free coaching call in exchange for the time you gave me here. And then you can send them either a lead magnet or you can give them one coaching call and just like really over deliver because of the time and value that they gave you. Again, the market research is my, one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's just got a really high conversion rate if you do it right. Um, it is more time intensive because you're having multiple calls and you're doing one-on-one -on -one sales where some of the other strategies like the webinar, the shout out for shout out, the referral, and even scholarship promotion is kind of like you're gonna be marketing to many versus marketing to one person. But when you're starting, your highest leverage uh, like thing for sales is gonna be talking just to one person, okay? So those are the five strategies. We've got the webinar strategy. We've got the shout out for shout out strategy. We've got the scholarship application. We've got the referral program. And then five is gonna be market research, okay? All of those things work. They can all work really well. You can pair them together. And then once you have enough money to invest into paid ads, that's when you're gonna to wanna to start scaling with paid ads. There is nothing better than paid ads to scale your business and get in front of more people, but a lot of people don't have money to invest in paid ads from the start. So use some of these strategies, pair them with a solid organic content strategy, and then once you're making close to five to 10K a month, start running some very simple Instagram ads. Now, I'm gonna have a link below this. There'll be a, a link to my paid ads mini course. So once you've done these things, you're starting to get leads and you wanna really scale your business, click the link below to get access to the mini course that I've created that covers my exact strategies that I help all of our clients with and the same strategies we use to grow our coaching business. That'll be linked below. Just click that, access it, watch this stuff for free and grow your business, All right? Thank you guys for being here and we'll chat soon. Peace.